We are now going to look at creating an array, which most of what you're going to do in MATLAB revolves around creating arrays, either one-dimensional or two-dimensional. A vector is a one-dimensional array, either a single row or a single column. A matrix is multi-dimensional, and for purpose of this course, it will be considered two-dimensional, having M, like a Mary, rows, and N, like a Nancy, columns. A single number is actually a special array, and is called a scalar. You already use scalars when you've done some calculations in MATLAB. There are a number of ways of calculations and accessing arrays, and we'll be talking about that. This lesson will talk about how to create a vectors and arrays. For example, say I have five people in my class and they took a test. I'm going to have a variable called test. And remember with variables, variables can be up, names can be up to 63 characters long. They contain, contain only letters, digits, and underscore, and they must begin with a letter, and they are case sensitive. So I'm going to ha type in test, equals, so it's showing that it is a variable, and I'm going to have a left bracket, and I'm going to type in 50, comma, 30, space, 100, comma, 75, comma, and 60, and then a right bracket. And when I hit enter, what I get is a one-dimensional array, which is called a row vector. You see 50, 30, 100, 75, and 60. These are test scores for the five students. You notice that between 50 and 30 over here was a comma that created the second entry. You notice between 30 and 100 there was a space that created the third entry. So in typing a row vector, you can either use commas or spaces. If I wanted to do the same thing in a column vector, now for example, a column vector may represent one student and the three or four exams that he or she has taken. Let me call it student one equals and again, to create this vector or matrix, we're going to have a bracket. And what we're going to do is type in 60. But instead of a comma or a space, since we want to create a column vector, we're going to use a semicolon. And then I'm going to type in 70, semicolon, 80, semicolon, and 100, and then a the right bracket. And when I hit enter, you notice now it appears as a column vector, as opposed to before, test is a row vector. How do I create a combination of these, which would re represent the rows may represent the different students on test one, the second row would represent the different students in test two, and so forth and that is called a matrix. What I will do is a combination of both the semicolon and the comma or space. I'm going to call this course one, and this will represent the test scores for course one. I'm going to have a bracket, and let's say they had four, there were four students. So 50, space, and space is usually easier than a comma, but it's up to you. 60, space, 70, space, and 90. That is the first row. How do I indicate that I want to start a second row? I will use a semicolon. And I'll go 70, space, 80, space, 90, space, and 70. And I'll do one more row. And I'll type in again numbers for the different test scores. Once I'm done, I type in a right bracket, and when I hit enter, 
you notice now I have three rows and I have four columns. I created the three rows by the two semicolons. I created the columns by spacing in between the items in each of the three row vectors. That is how you create row vectors, column vectors, or matrices.